let me take you through number two you are provided with solid y and z to cut out the test below write your observations and inferences in the spaces provided now here we have two solves for you to know which one is which solid belong to organic and which solid belong to inorganic you have to go through the first question question a so you go through and then look at the reagents that are used for example here the first one is a sodium hydroxide that is the reagent used you go to roman 3 aqueous ammonia and then roman 4 diluted hydrochloric acid roman 5 lead 2 nitrate then now from there you confirm that the first when you are using solid y this is inorganic where you are supposed to give the inferences of the cations and the anions only positively charged and negatively charged place our solid y in a cleaning test tube Add 10, 10 centimeters cube of distilled water and shake. Divide the solution in A1 above into four portions. So we want to see, did the solid Y dissolve? Yes. So the solid dissolve, forming a car, a carless solution so if it is sort to form a color solution it means that the colored ions are absent but we want to say what is present what is present is a soluble soluble salt present a soluble salt present soluble salt are so many of them we have potassium ions sodium ions magnesium ions uh, lead two ions aluminium three ions zinc two ions and so many others barium so so many of them these are all so instead of listing all of this inside here you can say a soluble salt present initially when we were learning in school we used to say copper two uh, iron three iron two absent but sometimes you realize that when they are marking kcc when you write this one absent of course this one is a blue solution this is brown and this is a green solution ion 2 is a green solution or a precipitate this is a, it can be a precipitate or a solution so absent sometimes they don't mark that so the correct here write a soluble salt present finish to the first portion, add sodium hydroxide so the drop wise until in excess. Observation white PPT precipitate is formed, which dissolve in excess. A white precipitate is formed, which dissolve in excess. We are adding a base sodium hydroxide and then it dissolves. So therefore you should know what is there is the amphoteric ions. The amphoteric ions there are three of them. The formula I gave you is ZAP. ZAP, Z stands for zinc, A stands for aluminium, and the P stands for lead. So these are the amphoteric ions. I know you understand about amphoteric hydroxides and oxides, which is aluminium oxide, zinc oxide, and lead oxide. They are amphoteric. So, you write here the zinc, the red, aluminium, three, present. The second portion, add aqueous ammonia dropways until in excess, white, precipitate is formed that is for drop voice what happens in excess the white precipitate does not dissolve in excess so a white precipitate is formed which is 
insoluble in excess so a white precipitate is formed which is in insoluble in excess it means remember zinc zinc two ions when we add ammonia droplets and then in excess zinc ions if the zinc ions is present it will dissolve the white precipitate will dissolve to form a colorless solution but now this one is not forming a colorless solution it the white precipitate persists therefore it means that the zinc two ions is absent the zinc ions is absent but if the zinc ions is absent what will be present we had three of them aluminium zinc and lead therefore zinc is not there it means that lead and aluminium are present because this one is absent i want to avoid the negative answers you write, instead of writing this one absent write what is present to so the third portion add five drops of dilute hydrochloric acid whenever you are adding any acid into a solution that you are testing one uh, observation number one is how uh, you expect a precipitate observation number two you, you expect a viva sense so you need to give both observations so observation number one a viva sense occurs or it does not in this case a viva sense occurred so a viva a viva sense occur so if the viva sense occurs it means this acid went into that solution in the test tube Meta carbonate, meta sulfite, and they 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 they, 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 they produced the the respective gases. So it means that the sulfite and the carbonate are present. Another observation you are expecting is that HCl, the chloride HCl, the chloride here could enter there it will form a white precipitate with silver and lead but initially we didn't have silver so we eliminated that so we did it form a white precipitate that means lead could be inside now that's what we want to see it depends on the observation what is the observation no white ppt no white ppt so if there is no white ppt it means that lead ions were not inside otherwise if the lead ions were inside that solution could combine with chloride to form lead chloride and lead chloride is a white precipitate but now we don't have our no white precipitate therefore lead ions is absent so if lead ions is absent what is present aluminium But if you forget, you can write red ion, red two ions absent. They can sympathize and mark for you. But let us always write what is present. To the fourth portion, add three drops of lead to nitrate. Then a white precipitate is formed. White PPT formed. We are adding lead. Lead will form a white precipitate. Lead will form a white precipitate with the sulfate, the sulfite, the carbonate, and the chloride ion. So all of this is present. Scoop little salt desert on a metallic spatula and heat it over a Bunsen frame. Observation. So this one is organic. How do you know it is organic? You read it through and then you see you have acidified potassium bimanganate, you have indicator, you have a, a sodium carbonate. You are heating, then it burns with a blue sooty, yellow sooty, and sooty. So you will be able to know that this one is organic. It is important to know well, the reason why you are supposed to know inorganic 
chemistry, when the solid dissolves to form a color solution, we don't write the soluble salt present. We write it whether it is poor or non -poor. That's why it is important. You should know that you are doing organic or inorganic. The solid melts and burn with blue nan sooty flame. So that tells you that what is there is a saturated organic compound present. Saturated organic compound. But what if you have forgotten the word saturated organic compound? You know the examples of a saturated organic compound. We have the alkanes and the alcohols. Therefore, if you have forgotten this, you will use or you will write the functional group of the alkanes or the alcohol present. This one is very perfect. You write that one, be sure of the marks. Add the remaining solid uh, to 10 centimeters of distilled water in a test tube and shake. Divide the solution into three portions. Now here we want to know, did, did the solid Z dissolve? Did it dissolve in water, distilled water? Yes. So, it's the solid. Dissolve. Forming. A colorless solution. Here we don't light a soluble salt. We are in organic chemistry, therefore, you don't light soluble salt, but you can write soluble organic compound you can get. But you want to know it was this solid polar or non polar. Therefore, if it dissolves in water, it means it is polar. Compound. So the first portion deep a pH indicator paper. The pH equal to four. The pH equal to four or five. That's a weak a weak acid present. A weak acid present. The second portion had acidified potassium manganate and then warm gentle. Observation is that the purple acidified potassium manganate, potassium manganate is Decolorized. So decolorized, the color change from purple to colorless. So that confirms that the alcohol is the alcohol which is present. Lastly, to the third portion, add a half spatula of the sodium hydrogen carbonate. Then here we expect a vivacence. If there is a reversence, you tell us if there is. So here, no reversence. No reversence. If there is no reversence, it means that the organic acid are not there. So you write the organic acid, the functional group of organic acid is absent.